my channel my name's Stace with Stace and her books um, on my channel I do some vlogs book recommendations book reviews um, just a lovely little chilled out reading journey so if you like that sort of thing please hit the subscribe button and let all your friends know uh, especially if you're a big bookworm it's not just my books sometimes I include my son's books which are different ages so in today's video I thought I would do a um, what I'm going to read during the autumn months because outside it's getting to that time of the year my favorite time of year which is autumn and you know I've already picked my TBR for autumn I've picked cozy books which are fantasy or historical fiction or a cozy thriller or even one's got some witches in because my autumn TBR wouldn't be without a book about witches. So let's get into it. The first one is on my Kindle and it is Autumn Softly Fell by Dominic Luke. Because I've tried to read more on my Kindle because I've been finding, um, you know, books I've never even heard of and they just sound really intriguing like this one. So uh, abandoned by her father and left in the care of an uncle she's never met. Eight-year-old Dorothea Ryan finds herself cast away in a big strange house in the middle of the countryside. No one seems to want her. Her one wish is to return to her old home in London, but as time passes and hopes of ever going back start to fade, Dorothea becomes more and more embemished in her new life at Clifton Park. She begins to wonder just where her home really is. Um, so yeah, I just found it on Kindle Unlimited because sometimes I just scroll through it and see any books that take my fancy and they're for free for me because I have Kindle Unlimited. Um, so yeah, and it's got autumn in the um, title which draw me to it. So yeah, I look forward to starting that one. The next book, these are not in any particular order um, but they're just books I've picked out. Next one is A Fantasy, Little Thieves by Margaret Owen. This has been sat myself since the beginning of the year um, and I've, I've picked it up because, I don't know, I just really fancy, really want to read it. Once upon a time there was a beautiful kind princess and her wicked maid. One day the wicked maid stole the princess's face and with it her name, her betrothed, everything. The princess had to toil away, from a ser away as a servant while her maid lived like a queen. When the maid was caught she died for her crimes and the princesses lived happily ever after. Or, that is how the story has been told. Now it's time to hear the other side of the story. Um, so I, could, it, I do like books that, you know, tell the other side point of view um, of different things. So yeah, I'm quite curious about this one. I've not heard um, really much about this one. So yeah, I really look forward to um, starting this fantasy as well. The, the only thing that's kind of put me off for so long is the size of the writing. But I'm not going to let that bother me because the storyline just sounds really good. So, yeah. The next book is Breaking Time by Sasha Alsberg. Um, Sasha Alsberg, probably a lot of you have heard of, is uh, a booktuber. Uh, she's now an author. She's recently moved from America to London. And I have been watching her channel since seven, eight years ago. She's the first booktuber I came across and started to watch and since then I've been obviously hooked on booktube, um, you know, watching other booktubers grow and, you know. Um, but I've read her, one of her books before, it is ne Nexus, Zenith. I've read Zenith, that's a sci-fi book and I really, really enjoyed that and I do enjoy her writing. So this book is a little bit different from that. Um, it's when a mysterious Scotsman uh, suddenly appears in the middle of the road. Clara thinks the biggest problem is whether she hit him with her car. But as impossible it sounds, Callum has just stepped out of another time and it's just the beginning for a deadly adventure. Um, yeah, I like historical fiction. If you've been following my channel for a while, you know that that's one of my favorite genres. Um, and it just seems like a, a cosy sort of read because it's set in Scotland and I always associate Scotland with autumn um, because it's just so beautiful up there um, and I would love to visit one day. 
but yeah um it's if you're a fan of outlander which is another book i want to read but i haven't got around to yet uh this this is for you so yeah it's a bit of a time travel historical fiction the new her new book uh, fracturing fate just came out last last week i think it was um so yeah i shall read this one and then get that one the next one is a cozy mystery sounds like a lovely cozy mystery another again another one i've never heard of but i've picked up i kind of picked it up purely because there's a cat on the cover and the cat looks like alex who's currently asleep over there and it's called The Cat Who Caught a Killer by L.T. Shearer. Uh, meet Conrad. I presume that's Conrad. You've never met a detective like him before. Neither has Lulu Lewis until he walks into her life one day, one summer's day, mourning the recent death of her husband. The former police detective had expected a gentle retirement, quietly enjoying life on her new canal boat. The lark and visiting her mother-in-law in a nearby care home. But when her mother-in-law dies suddenly in suspicious circumstances, Lulu senses foul play and resolves to find out what really happened and a remarkable cat named Conrad will be with her every step of the way. Um, again, it's a cosy mystery, whodunit, um, murder mystery, which I find very autumn, I myself find very autumn, or you may, or you may not. Um, but yeah, I've never heard of this one before. I think the lady, when I paid for it in Waterstones, she said it. she'd read it and she, she really enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, and look, he's on the back as well, it's just so cute. So yeah, I really look forward to a cosy mystery. And the last one is probably the f first book I will read out of this pub because it is from the library. It is, it is Wayward by Amelia Hart. This one has witchy vibes, hence why I've chose it for my autumn TBR. Kate, in 2019, Kate flees London, abandoning everything for Cumbria and Wayward Cottage, inherited from her great aunt. There's a secret lurks in the bones of the house, hidden ever since the witch hunts of the 17th century. Violet of 1942, Violet is more interested in collecting insects and climbing trees than in becoming a proper young lady until a chain of shocking events changes her life forever. Elpha of 1619, she is on which trial for witchcraft, accused of killing a local man known for her uncanny connection with nature and animals. She's a threat that must be eliminated. So yeah, this sounds really, really good. Um, I have heard lots of good reviews about this. So again, because it's got witchy vibes, it's in my autumnal pile. Um, so yeah, they're the five, three, four, five books that I shall hopefully get read in autumn, but they are definitely the next books in my pile to read. So if it takes me till Christmas, because I'm back at school next week, then it takes me till then. There's no rush. Reading should be a leisurely thing uh, and enjoyable, um, not a racing game. Um, but that's my opinion. So yeah, they're the five books. That I shall be reading uh, in this lovely autumnal season. So, if you have read any of these books, please let me know in the comments below what you thought of them. Did you like them? Did you hate them? Was it a bit of a mm, hit or miss? Um, and let's get some book talk in my comments on this channel. So, yeah, if you love book talk, please subscribe to my channel and we can have some lovely book talks through the comments of my video. And for that, I will see you again soon on another video. Bye.